with Roger Brogdon, just named you the uh, lucky Aaron's lucky dog of the race. How lucky are you feeling today? <laughs> After that, I'm feeling real lucky. I don't mind telling you, but I'll take it any way I can. This is, it don't get any tougher than this. And uh, when it left, it went crooked and went to third, it pulled the wheels up. I said, but I couldn't see him out of the corner of my eye, so I kept shifting. And thank goodness I won. <laughs> All right, see you in the next round. All right, thank you. Being a lucky dog is a good thing. Jason Line, the defending pro stock champion, and Erica Enders. Erica's got a huge mountain to climb here. Summit racing cars are just so good. Yeah, against the three Summit cars, uh, she's two and 11, with uh, including two final round losses. So obviously they've uh, had her number, but. You know, I like I like where the, the car's going. I like that she mentioned that Dave Conley kind of found and Victor Cagnazzi kind of found something in that final session gives her a, a little more confidence going up, up against Jason. She's going to go out there and try to push the tree as as much as she can to try to get a, a whole shot advantage over Jason and hope that it holds off. Jason got the advantage. It should be and done. all the way to Jason Line. He got to 661. Let's go to Dave Reef. He has a Lincoln Tech fix it pit report. And the good news for Mike Neff and this entire Castro crew, they're moving on to the semifinals. But where they might have to fix it is learning how to get down what has become a very tricky left lane. We've seen it all day long, Mike Neff. You without lane choice, Jack Beckman's probably going to put you there. So what do you have to do to this machine to make a representative run and try to take him out? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't run the left lane all day today. But... Um you know, we'll just, I mean, we were on a really good run right there. It just locked the clutch up. It kicked the tires loose. But, you know, I'll just maybe soften it up a little bit and, and hope for the best. You know, you, you, you never know. So, I mean, there has been some good runs over there. So, I, hopefully it's not too bad. Where are those bumps in that left-hand lane? Uh, there, there's one at a couple hundred feet. There's, it's, it's pretty bumpy, but... You know, who knows? Maybe it'll start cooling off a little bit. And hey, we just go, uh, you know, give it our best shot. We're just, um, you know, happy to be going into the semis. You know, Castro, Ford, Traxxas. It's awesome to see Courtney going over there. She made a heck of a run. So, uh, her and Robert. So, hopefully, be able to meet up with one of them. How do you soften up a car, though, that has no independent suspension? Great question. Semi-final matchups for Pro Stock will come up this way. Roger Brogdon and Greg Anderson. Greg will have the lane choice. And then it'll be Jason Line and Greg Stanfield. Jason Line is going to have the lane choice. We go to John Kernan. And Tony Schumacher's pit faces Clay Milliken in the semifinals. And Tony, how is the car running? Oh, it's running great. Uh, you know, it's making it on the track. Uh, Mike Green has a great handle on it. Neil, those guys are doing such a good job with this car. I feel comfortable. You know, I, I got up this morning and, and have it make four good qualifying runs. I thought this is a great day, great day to race. Phoenix has a great racetrack. The weather conditions are perfect, and the Army needs a win. So I don't think there's any doubt that we're going to go out there and go for it. Uh, it's been spinning down track. We can get a handle on that. We can we can pick up a little mile an hour and, and close the deal. We'd hate to get beat. At the very end of the track, we're, we're ahead of the, you know, the, the other car, and uh, but Mike's got it. You know, we, we can make some adjustments in the, the weight of the car, the wing angles, and, and all different things. Get that thing to slow down at the other end. Keep that thing gripped up and run some, run some good speeds. And when you see his crew chief, Mike Green, here in the pits, he has that confident, winning look in his eye. Tony will face Clay Milliken in the semifinals. Look at the crowd back in the pits. One of the great things about full throttle drag racing is you can go back. You can get some autographs from someone like Courtney Forrest. You can watch him work on the cars. And you know what? When we come back, Courtney Forrest is going to have to face her own teammate to get into the finals. Robert Hyde, former champion. Can Courtney do it? We'll find out. Good job.